All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for this wonderful Thursday on the 17th of October. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Mike. Grant, good to see you all. All right, Judy, Gene, Michael, Chuck, everybody, Ben, everyone. All right, Rich, good to see you. All right, guys, so um, you know what? Could, we keep, could the streak keep going? I mean, we had another phenomenal day yesterday. And um, I'll be honest with you, I was so ticked off because – I had a student, a student that wanted to be a student, well, let's just say somebody that wanted to consult me and says, you know, Faust, I want to be in your, I want to learn from you. I want to go through your class and this and that and, uh, and everything. And uh, as I'm talking to him, as I'm talking to him, we're looking at a stock, which you're all familiar with, okay? Everybody remember this one right here, right? The BNGO. And um, he still was not convinced that he wants to trade. He sees everybody making money. He looks at this trade right here, BNGO, and he, he sees how he just made about $2,000, made it right in front of him. And now the reason why I'm ticked off a little bit is because as I was talking to him, I left, about an, uh, I left an extra buck on the table, I'll be honest with you. And... You know, unfortunately, you know, he's probably listening right now, but, you know, I really, you know what? Sometimes you got to call people out what it is. You know what I told him? Trading's not for him because he had to think about it. Now, some of you have been here for a while, right? Now, is, have you ever see, been in a stock that's been up over two, three hundred percent? Anyone ever been there? Seen one before Cyber Trading University? Rarely, right? How many? Never, Michael. Only options. No, no, no. Only here, right? Sitting there looking at it, and he was negotiating with me about, you know, about the training program and how to get involved in this and that, and he still had to think about it. So my thing is this. I tell everybody this. If you have to think about seeing a stock going up literally 100%, in front of the, your eyes and you're watching me making money as we're talking, then that means you'll never put, put post a trade out there. That means that you got to think about every trade that you do and trading's not for you. And you know what? I say this all the time and that's okay. You know, because if you're not that person and if you got to go one of those people that have to maybe just go, go check back with your wife or maybe, you know, ask your friend or maybe you have to do your analysts and stuff then this is not for you. Trading, because if you don't follow the rules, all right, and don't listen, you know what ends up happening? You end up buying the stock at $4.50, and you end up running it down all the way to a buck ninety, and you lose everything, okay? Because by the time you do all your homework and research and everything, and not following what we taught you by following the money and doing everything, guess what? You're going to get crushed, okay? So listen, we tell everybody, trading's not for everybody, and that is why we don't have a 1,000 traders in this room like some other people. They don't put every Tom, Dick, and Harry in there you know, that's looking to trade because you know what? Sometimes you just really don't qualify, and someone's going to have to tell you, hey, you know what? You know what a good doctor is? A good doctor tells you, you know what? You shouldn't have the surgery. Even though I'm going to make the money, you shouldn't have the surgery because you know what? It, it's not worth it. Just deal with the pain whatever, because it might be worse than what it is. Or having someone that says, you know what, let me put you on this medication and put you on medication. That, you know, sometimes you don't have to be on medication, but you just know who you're dealing with. And, you know, that's why, you know, believe it or not, that's why we do more business, with more brokerage firms and have more credibility out there because of that situation. All right. But, um, you know, just like to let everybody know here, and I know a lot of people don't watch this on YouTube, whatever it is. I just want to stress this out because I was really ticked off that I left an extra buck on the phone with this guy while I was trying to talk to him. And he was asking me, and he kept me on the phone. He wanted to learn how to trade. He was trying to pick my brain. And I told him, I can't teach you in an hour. You like what you see? You see how these things go up? But sure enough, he had to think about it. And I said, you know what? Enough's enough. You got to think about it. Trading's not for you. Please, I got to go. You know, do yourself a favor. Close your brokerage account. What do you got? You got thirty thousand in your account. Guess what? You're gonna lose sixty thousand. And you get stopped. And just, just one last thing. He goes up to me. He goes, "How am I gonna lose sixty thousand? 
You know, you're gonna lose sixty thousand because you're gonna go out there, you're gonna lose the thirty, and then you're gonna you're gonna find more money, you're gonna get a margin call, and then you're gonna have to come up with money, and then you're gonna go trade options, and then it, and it's just gonna snowball. Trust me, go back to your day job. I told them, don't don't even consider this. All right. So anyway, that is what the bad news was of yesterday because that really really ticked me off. The good news is everybody did well on that trade, okay? I just didn't make as much money as I like. That's the only thing I was ticked off about. Anyway, once again, OCGN. Let's start going through the watch list. Where in the hell do you find stocks like this, right? Look at this stock. Beautiful. Goes from a buck 70 all the way to 270. Everybody remembers this stock. We watched it go from $16 all the way down to a dollar. Don't think, you know, so the, by the way, this is back on my watch list, all right? Because you can see it's gapped up a little bit. OCGN. Now, and there's another thing I'm going to talk about too. Um, oh, X was another great, great mover. Oh my God, that thing was everywhere. We had a really great pop at the open. Let me put this up here for you. You had a good pop in the, uh, right at the open. And then sure enough, great short on the way down. And it still looks like a short right here. It's got a gorgeous little Fausto flag. All right, right there. So X is definitely going to go still back on the watch list. Uh, what else we had? New, now, the uh, I think that's all of them. Right? Oh, no, one more we had, right? The IPWR. That one was another. I mean, where the hell you find these things, right? Look at this thing. It goes from 250 all the way to 550. It was just literally just like, it, this got to be fake. It's got to be fake. Anyway, so with all, the, with all of that being said, all right? Everybody is always asking this, when, why did it go down? You have now just been part of a short squeeze. You know, once again, the gentleman that wanted to take the course that has to think about it and check with his wife. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you what happened with him. He's like, why do you keep buying and selling it, buying and selling it? Okay, well, we all know why we keep buying and selling it. All right, because if you didn't get out, guess where it ends up? It's just a short squeeze. And I love short squeezes. Short squeezes is where we make most of our money. All right. Um, I mean, how many times a stock get halted? All right. Day trading is in and out. That's right, Rich. In and out. We're not trying to buy the stock at 250 and sell it at 550. We're looking to buy it at three and sell it at four. Okay. If you got, if you got lucky, if you got out of 550, you got lucky, period. All right, now what is moving going on for today? Well, obviously, there's been a lot of big stocks that are moving. First of all, remember what was going on the last two weeks. What do we have going on the last two weeks? We had the tanking tanker stocks moving, right? You know what's moving right now that I've noticed, and you're not hearing it yet? You're probably going to hear if everyone's going to start chatting about it in the next couple of days or so. Pot stocks are moving. I mean, I don't know about you, but a lot of the pot stocks are moving. So we got New Bev. Uh, that we traded yesterday, that was pretty awesome, right? NBEV, New Bev had a really nice pop yesterday. That thing just was gorgeous. That thing just went up from like 280 all the way up to about 350, and then we're getting that same um, carryover going on to today. We got Crohn's, C R O N. So uh, Crohn's obviously gapped up pretty big after hours. I don't know what happened. Start. It wasn't even after hours. It's like I don't know, 6.30 it happened. So this thing went from 8.50 to 11. So that thing looks pretty gorgeous. Nice little stock. Uh, the other ones like uh, TLRY, uh, they really didn't move too much. And, and let me tell you something. Remember we traded TLRY? Remember how much money we made on TLRY? Let me go back and remind everybody. This is day trading at its best. Remember that stock? Went from $21 to 300 that's day trading at its best. All right. Anyway, remember we traded it about a month ago in July, and we or or was it? It was actually last month, September, and it was at 30. And we got out of it. Look where it is now, 21. This is why swing traders, you got to be a good day trader to understand how to swing trade. So um, you know, you need that consistency. And also, we know we're not gonna. You know, I know a lot of you guys really, some of you can afford it, but um. And some of you can't. Roku. Roku, you know I'm not a fan of trading expensive stocks. But let me tell you, I still got that swing trade. I don't know a lot of shares of it, though. But I'm doing pretty damn well on that Roku trade. Okay, Roku did pretty good right there. All right, so it also is moving this morning. So we got the uh, BNGO. We'll put that back. Um, 
uh, we'll keep an eye on it, watch list. But let me tell you, the big thing I really want to remind everybody is what do we really make most of our money on here at Cyber Training University? Short squeeze. So I just want to reiterate it. Remember DTSS? Look where it is today. Look at that. 220 to 550, right back down. Remember, it started at a buck. Um, VI, VE, remember that one? Gorgeous stock. Um, doesn't look as good on the chart on this one, but uh, let me do a 10 minute chart. Yeah, there you go. So here we have stock went from $3 all the way to $11. Great short squeeze. Just beautiful. XBIO, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous short squeezes. I love these short squeezes. I love the halts, you know. But it's all about taking the money and run. All right, so um, CANF, we got uh, – I don't know what happened with this stock. It was great in pre-market. started backing off. It's about up sub 61%. Got some really nice iceberg orders right here. Uh, pot stocks pop. Also um, cover pot stocks pop. Oh, putting uh, – Marks was putting a link up there explaining what's going on pot stocks. All right. So uh, good read right there. So anyway, you got a couple of resistance levels, nice little iceberg orders here and there. So stocks can obviously be pretty volatile. That one's pretty good. You know, I know a lot of us not going to trade it, but I'm just going to bring it up. IBM, obviously taking a little bit of a nasty hit today, down 6%. You could see it's down, what, almost uh, 10 bucks right now. We're not going to be trading it, but we could always probably short it. It could be like another uh, Roku. Listen, you got to be a level five trader to trade it. OCGN, remember, I'm throwing that back on the watch list after what happened yesterday. And we're going to keep an eye on U.S. Steel coming back down to support levels. So not as many of the gorgeous uh, movers that we had yesterday. Oh, and BNGO. Don't forget about BNGO. Look at that nice little short squeeze. Remember that one? Look at that. We're back right down to where we're at. What did I tell you yesterday? What did I tell you guys yesterday at BNGO? Does everybody remember? Everybody remember I told you this yesterday in the morning meeting? Let me bring it up. So we saw BNGO. Let me just bring it up. That it was going to probably back off big time. Big time. And uh, sure enough, there it goes. It's doing its, uh, it's, doing its thing. All right. Uh, anybody, anything else we're missing? I think I pretty much got them all. I think we got them all, right? XBIO, all of them, we got them all. All right, so um, so anyway, short squeeze is where it's at. We're doing really well with short squeezes. A lot of these stocks have been phenomenal. And uh, you see how they're turning out. Just remember, day trade, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. Remember what we, what we taught you in class. When those stocks get halted, it is so easy to just see it. You got to hit the button, all right? If you got to think about it, buy one share of it. But you got to be in it. And remember, a lot of traders that I uh, that we, we I spoke about and traded in the past, you know, and some of you have been here, you know, if you got to stop and think about that trade, it's not for you. You got to be very aggressive. But the thing is, when we talk about those short squeezes and we see those stocks getting halted, and we know and we know how to read what's happening, which is probably the only good thing about level two has to offer. We know when these stocks are really going to go to that next level, but. Always, always, always try to take the money, okay? Walk away. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And don't forget, today is our famous Thursday, which we have. Uh, what is going on here? So remember, we have our uh, open house that we're going to be starting at 12 o'clock. So go out there and want to, we're going to, you know, come out and join us for an open um an open event that we're going to talk about how to trade today's volatile markets and how to use level three and level four. And it's a free event. So tell your friends about it, tweet it, Facebook it, and we'll go out there and have some fun. Rich says, I enjoyed your video, your sauce video. Hilarious that you have chickens. <laughs> oh my God, the secret's out. You guys know, know my little secret. Listen, the, the, that's the beauty about things. Listen, sometimes it's great therapy. Uh, Gardening, sauce, taking care of chickens. Actually, chickens, actually, believe it or not, it's a very big therapy day thing, they said. I watched it two nights in a row, Andrea. There you go. Andrea, did I do a good job making the home, the, the good uh, the sauce? I know Andrea is my, my Italian friend from Toronto, my our baker. He's doing great, right? So, uh, bellissimo. <laughs> Grazie. So, uh, yeah, so if you guys didn't watch that video, I'll post that link up again. So, it's uh it's on the Fausto's home uh, home living. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> Thanks, everybody. Enjoy it. And uh, but don't forget, we still got to go make money and pay for that stuff. So let's get let's get let's focus on the open. We're going to be opening up in less than uh, 10 minutes. Good luck, everybody. See you back at 12 o'clock. We'll start commentating once the market opens up. All right. Bye bye.